in this video, let me consider one numerical on series RLC circuit. A constant voltage of frequency 1 megahertz is applied to an inductor coil in series with capacitor. When the capacitor is set at 500 picofarad, the current has its maximum value, while the current is reduced to one half when capacitance is 600 picofarad. Find the following, the resistance and inductance of the coil, Q factor of the coil. So this is a series RLC circuit. First, let me draw the series RLC circuit. So here we have R in series with L and a variable capacitor is applied to a supply voltage. The frequency of the supply voltage is 1 mega hertz. We know that the capacitor is variable. This is R and this is L. So it is said that when capacitor value is 500 picofarad, the current has its maximum value. That is, if C is equal to 500 picofarad, current is maximum. So now we will we'll represent this current as I0. So we know that in series RLC circuit, the current is maximum only when XL is equal to XC, which is the condition for resonance. That is, if XL is equal to XC, then current in the circuit is maximum. Now with the help of this, we can easily find the value of L. That is, we know that XL is nothing but 2 pi F naught L, X C is nothing but 1 upon 2 pi F naught C. So we know that here the value of C is given that is 500 picofarad and F naught is nothing but the frequency at which resonance occurs. So that according to the definition at frequency 1 megahertz the maximum current will flow into the circuit. It means it is the resonance frequency or resonant frequency which is nothing but 1 megahertz. So, or I can write it as 2 pi F naught L is equal to 1 upon 2 pi into F naught. F naught is nothing but 1 mega that is 1 into 10 power 6 into C. C is nothing but 500 picofarad into 10 power minus 12. So I get 2 pi F naught L is equal to simplifying this I will get the value as 318.31. So now I will calculate L that is L is equal to 318.31 divided by V of 2 pi into F naught. F naught is nothing but 1 mega that is 1 into 10 power 6. So simplifying this, I will get L is equal to 50.66 micro Henry. So this is the way of calculating L. So we can calculate this L in another way. Let me solve that also. So we know that at resonance, the resonant frequency is given by F naught is equal to 1 over 2 pi square root of LC. I can call it as alternate method. Alternate method to calculate L value. Squaring on both sides. That is I can write F naught square is equal to 1 over 4 pi square into L into C or I can write L is equal to 1 over 4 pi square into F naught square into C. So by substituting the values, that is 1 over 4 pi square into F naught 1 mega square into C value is 500 picofarad, that is 500 into 10 power minus 12, it gives L is equal to 50.66 micro Henry. So this is another way to calculate L. So we can follow either this method or this method to calculate L. 
so here we found the value of inductance now let's see how to calculate resistance so in the problem it is said that the current is reduced to one half when capacitance is 600 picofarad that is we know that at resonance at resonance the current in the circuit is i naught that is if capacitance value is 600 picofarad then current in the circuit is that is i can say current that is i will be equal to it is said that when capacitance is 600 picofarad the current is reduced to one half that is current i will be equal to 1 by 2 i naught that is half of maximum value so from this we know that i can write it as i is equal to 1 by 2 so i naught is the current at resonance we know that at resonance the total impedance of the circuit is r that is at resonance at resonance z is equal to r therefore i naught will be equal to v by r so i can say i naught is nothing but v by r so i will be equal to v by 2r let me call it as equation 1 so now but we know that here at c equal to 600 picofarad the circuit is not at resonance when circuit is not at resonance the current in the circuit will be given by i is equal to v by z so that is nothing but v divided by so impedance total impedance in the circuit can be represented as r square plus v how xl minus xc whole square so this is the current in the circuit when circuit is not at resonance equation, then let me call it as equation 2 now comparing equation 1 and 2 that is so now by comparing equation 1 and 2 we can say that here numerator is same denominator is different so comparing equation 1 and 2 we can write 2 r is equal to under root r square plus xl minus xc whole square So now let me find xl and xc value when c is equal to 600 picofarad that is xl is equal to 2 pi f naught l which is equal to 2 pi into f naught is 1 mega that is 1 into 10 power 6 into l l value is already we have calculated which is 50.66 micro henry that is 50.66 micro henry so simplifying this we will get xl is equal to it gives 318.31 similarly let me calculate xc that is xc is equal to 1 over 2 pi f naught into c which is nothing but 1 over 2 pi into f naught is 1 into 10 power 6 and c value is 600 into 10 power minus 12 so let me simplify this i'll get xc is equal to it gives 265.25 so therefore now i can write it as Two R is equal to under root. We have R square plus XL value is three hundred and eighteen point three one minus XC is two sixty five point two five square. Simplify this. That is two R is equal to under root. We have R square plus 2815.36. So now let me simplify this further. 
I will take squaring on both sides. I can get it as 4 R square is equal to we have R square plus 2815.36 or I can write 3 R square is equal to 2815.36 or I can write R square is equal to 2815.36 divided by 3. So 938.45. So therefore I can write R is equal to under root 938.45. It gives 30.45. Therefore the value of R is 30.63 ohm. So thus we calculated inductor, inductance and resistance. Now let us calculate Q factor. So Q factor of the coil is given by Q is equal to 1 upon Q is equal to we have omega naught L by R. Omega naught is nothing but 2 pi F naught into L divided by R. That is Q is equal to 2 pi into F naught is nothing but 1 in 1 mega and L value is 50.66 micro Henry and we have resistance value is 30.63. 30.63. So simplifying this, we get Q is equal to 10.39 where Q is known as quality factor. Thus we calculated Q value. Thank you for watching.